Hello and welcome to the Legal SA, South Africa's number one legal and law analysis talk show right here on YouTube where we discuss and analyze local and international legal and law developments and news. We also publish verified live and curated job openings in the Republic. So stay tuned for that and subscribe to your channel if you haven't already to get all our latest updates. My name is Sabuma Kauta and I'm joined by Sabine Tilo who is a financial law analyst. Mr. Tilo, welcome. Are you well? Yourself, Mr. I'm good, thank you. Um, what do you have here? Um, today we're going to be dealing exclusively with the Kalapala farm, Saga, uh, where Mr. which is owned by Mr. Christian Ramaphosa. I see. Right. Mm. So on the 1st of June, Mr. Atta Fraser, who was the former head of uh, intelligence in South Africa, opened a case yes, 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 yes. against the, the current sitting president mm. of the Republic. It was a very prominent case. It was a very prominent yeah. happening in the country it's it's you know there's uh, there's a lot happening around it okay. and this is why we as the legal say decided to then deal with it exclusively of course you know of course. for us to check the facts around it yeah. you know uh, the legalities and so on so yeah. uh, he opened the case there's uh, there's a, a, a quite quite a few uh, charges around it. So mm -hmm. the case was opened on the first of June in mm -hmm. Rose Bank. <coughs> yeah. A case of uh, kidnapping, mm -hmm. uh, bribery, mm -hmm. money laundering, and concealing of a crime against the sitting president. Against the sitting president. <coughs> you see. So uh, in a twelve-page uh, statement accompanied by photographs, mm -hmm. you know, uh, documents, and yeah. a closed-circuit CCTV footage of the alleged crime taking place. Mm -hmm. We were also with him at that point in time. Of mm -hmm. course, we don't have them now because of they are still with the police. Mm -hmm. But if someone has, you know, CCTV footage, you know, uh, you know that, that's a lot of evidence. Mm -hmm. If someone is really, really sure, mm -hmm. then they, are, they, they know their story. Yeah, of course. Before they open the Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so, so now it, it appears that Clarity needs to be, the whole entire situation needs to be clarified. Right. The case that Arthur Fraser opened uh, at the Rosebank Police Station against the sitting president of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. Yeah. That's a case against Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. Mm. Uh, based on the events that happened on his farm, the robbery that happened on his farm, am I correct? You're correct. Just for the purposes of credit. Yeah. Now, if you're saying that uh, Mr. Fraser is alleging that uh, the sitting president is complicit in, in hiding or, or hiding the crime. Yeah. And the kidnapping. What, 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 what do you know about, about the, the, the case as such that uh, uh, Arthur Fraser opened? And by the way, who is Arthur Fraser in, in actual fact? Arthur Fraser, I'm sure you would know him recently. Uh, he was. Uh, he was the one who paroled the former president, Mr. Jacob Zuma. Oh, yes. In the cases of uh, medical parole. Yes. Right? He's been on the news for, for many reasons. For many reasons. Yeah. Yes. He, is, he was the former uh, head of uh, intelligence in oh, South yes. Africa. A spy right? boss. A spy boss. Mm -hmm. as the, the media of the yes. Yes. You see. Yes. But uh, I would also like us to go into the farm itself. All right. Just to just to see where where is this residence? What do we know about it? What do you know about the Palapala King farm? Uh, Mr. Ramaphosa's Palapala King farm. Yes. Because not a lot of people know about this farm. They actually recently just heard about the, this mm -hmm. farm for the first time. Yeah. I'm talking about normal every every South African citizen is hearing yes. about this farm for the first time. I think it's only taking waves or making waves now, mm -hmm. but the farm has been in the media for, for, for various reasons. For various reasons before. So what we know about the farm is that it lies on the outskirts of a town called Bilabila in Limpopo, mm -hmm. formerly known as Varamba, okay. you know, yes. uh, which is the, northern, the northernmost province of South Africa. According to its website, of course, it spans right. 4,500 uh, 4, hectares, okay. right? Yes. And, um, the farm has been in operation since 2010. Uh, 2010. 2010. Right. So this is what, like 12 years or so? Last 12 years, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Ramaphosa's last declaration of business interest was in 2017, and then Palapala Pala Pala was not mentioned specifically. Okay. Right. Uh, this is not Palapala's Pala first controversy. No, so this, 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 this robot, yeah. this, this robot, robot says, yes. you see, this, yes. this, this, this been a lot of controversies around it. One in particular would be uh, this was in November 2020 where 
animals rights group, uh, animal rights group, mm -hmm. uh, people for uh, ethical treatment of animals, which is PETA. Okay. Accused Ramaphosa of having ties with the South, Af South African trophy hunting industry. I see. I see. Yes. Because we know, what we know that uh, Mr. Ramaphosa is um, the biggest or the largest, or the biggest breeder of, of, of Ancoli farm. Right. I mean, I'm sorry, not Ancoli farm, but an Ancoli cattle. Mm -hmm. Now you would know that Ancoli cattle um, is being bred uh, across the African continent uh, on a large scale. Right. Now it appears that Ramaphosa is the biggest breeder of, of the, the Ancoli cattle. Oh. But go on. Okay. Right. So the, the very same organization, Peter, uh, claimed to have conducted an undercover investigation and obtained corroborating statements from farm workers, wild in, from farm workers' rights. So, I see. Uh, wild animals are being bred specifically to be killed for trophies. Jesus. That's what we know about this, about, about, it. about it. It, 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 see. the two goings on of Kuala Kuala Game Farm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, shocking as it is, mm -hmm. you know, if you are going to be breeding animals solely for the purpose of being killed yes. for trophies. For trophies. You know, yes. animals, yes, we do know animals, cattle, in yeah. those cases, are bred, yes. you know, for, for being killed and then they're going to go into you know, food. Yeah, yes, exactly. But yes. for for trophies, it's a whole new ball game. It, it's a different ball game, and there's a lot of money involved in in trophy hunting. Yes. Um, yeah. You see. So uh, Ramaphosa uh, has swiftly denied having a stake in the trophy hunting industry. Oh, is it? In, uh, Zala hunting safari pala pala. While farm uh, breeding and management activities comply with best ethic and lawful practice in mm -hmm. the sector. Yes. That's what he said in a statement. I see. Yeah. So yeah. this is what we know about the farm. The farm itself. itself. Yeah. You see. Yeah. So the farm is is in operation, mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Ramaphosa has already said himself that he is in the uh, uh, cattle and uh, yeah, breeding and uh, space. Yeah. Space, yeah. you know, he's actively, he's actively, he I mean, you become the business. biggest breeder of uh, Ancoli cattle without yeah. being actively involved in, in, in that uh, yes. space. Now, yes. um, according to the, his critics, Ramaphosa's critics, right, uh, we know that the EFM is one of his biggest critics. They are saying that uh, Ramaphosa, <laughs> Ramaphosa has now uh, disrespected his out of office, right, and as such, he must step down with immediate effect. That is, this is what the, the EFM is saying. They, they, they say he's disrespected his oath of office by what? Being involved in, in business or... No, based on these allegations made by other uh, yes. Now, because of these, remember these are still allegations for now. Yes. Nothing has been proven uh, as, as yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and many South Africans, especially on social media, across social media, they're saying that no, Ramaphosa must go hand himself in to the police. Yes. Ramaphosa must be arrested. Uh, but it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit sure. Yeah, it's a bit pretty yeah. sure for me. Yes, a case has been opened, mm. but the, the, the thing is with this case, mm. it's in the media. Mm -hmm. But against the sitting president, against the sitting yeah. president as well. Mm. But rightfully so, mm. it's like any other person who would, uh, you, you open the case yeah. against the person, yes. and then the person then jumps over to then go hang themselves to the police. police. There is no uh, warrant of arrest that has been issued, mm -hmm. and really, the, the police are not looking for the president. <laughs> yeah, as things stand. They're, they're not on the hunt for, for, for a suspect. Exactly. You know, and I, I like the word suspect yeah. because currently. He would be a suspect when the police start looking for him. Now he would become a suspect yeah. after uh, the police have conducted investigations into these allegations made by uh, Arthur Fraser. Yes. Uh, on top of that, once the, the, those investigations are concluded, Mr. Pirro, yeah. uh, a formal uh, indictment would have to be formulated uh, by uh, the NPA, which is the right. National Prosecuting Authority. Yeah. That is the only time I see would be fit. For the, for, for the president either to hand himself in or to go be in fact, uh, arrested as such. But in any event, Mr. King, even if the investigating authorities can uh, finalize um, an investigation, mm -hmm. hand over that investigation to the NPA, who would then take a decision to prosecute uh, Mr. Ramaphosa over these allegations made by Fridge. Yeah. It, not, it wouldn't necessarily mean that uh, any, a warrant of arrest would be issued against Mr. Ramaphosa. Yes. Because remember, they are, according to the Criminal Procedure Act, 
Right. There are a lot of ways that, that a person or a suspect can be brought before court. Right. right. Even a summons can be can can be can be issued uh, to avail himself. To avail himself um, uh, in court over these yeah. allegations. Yeah. Now, obviously, uh, there has to be an uh, investigation, mm -hmm. uh, and then a document must be finalized, handed over to 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 to, to the MPA. And even mm -hmm. if the MPA is satisfied, that there is enough to go ahead with, with the prosecution of this person, which is the city president of South Africa. Mm -hmm. Then and only then. Can Ramaphosa, uh, can we say that Ramaphosa now needs to go in an account? But for now, it's premature. We don't know the, 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 the details. Well, we know that only what, what uh, Arthur Freeze has come out to say, yeah, and that is only that we basically know. Now, uh, sorry, uh, Julius Mandima uh, has said, and Julius Mandima, this is what Julius Mandima, we will treat him the same way we treated Zuma. Yeah. He has not displayed his own office. These are very serious allegations. Yeah. Let them continue to push Frazier. There is more. Ramaphosa is engaged in money laundering and missing financial flows without being held accountable. And yeah. Mr. Ramaphosa, Mr. Ramaphosa, the president of South Africa, has so far declined to say um, why he stole a substantial, uh, why or if he stole a substantial sum of money in foreign currency on his property. So uh, Ramaphosa is already denying any such allegations. Yeah. I mean, you know, over and above the charges that uh, Mr. Fraser has open against the sitting president. Yes. We had said in our previous video that the fact that you would have such a large amount of money yes. in your in your house yes. is in itself illegal. Yes. You now yes. that money has to then be, be declared. Yes. So uh, it's for me yes. it's very odd that someone would have who has uh, such a, a large amount of money and say that that money came from the sale of animals. Yes. First of all, the other person who's going to then be buying those animals, yes. they must have been traveling with, with that money. How does that money come into the country? How does that money come into the country? Yes. Was that money declared? Was those the money declared? Are used. Probably the reason why the MPA, yes. they have not yet, you know, uh, issued warrant of arrest and, yes. and, and stuff like that. Yes. Probably they're still looking into things like those, because like I think there's, there's a lot of moving parts yes. around this case. Yes, there's a lot of, a lot of moving parts around this case, mm. and it seems like it's, it's been a free for all at, at, at this particular game farm. Yeah. If we were, we, were, we were to take um, uh, Arthur Fraser's submissions uh, on good faith yes. uh, or as fact, it seems like there's a lot of shenanigans happening at the game farm there with no sort of a regulation, observation of regulations or laws whatsoever. Yeah, uh, you know I, what I mean. I, I'm, I'm, I'm also worried because of um, we're not talking about an event that happened last week. Yes. Yes. The robbery itself yes. happened what two years two years ago. Two years ago. Now, if the police are investigating or have been investigating the robbery, uh, would I would, would I be right in saying that Mr. Fraser was supposed to be brought in on an ongoing case, probably as a witness of some sort? Mm -hmm. Because of I'm thinking the case would have been opened. Mm -hmm. Well, it would have been a case of robbery yes. at that point in time. Yes. I guess then it would defeat the whole purpose because of now the robbery has not taken place. Of course, yeah. The, uh, the robbery has taken has place, place but has not been reported yet. Has not been reported yes. yet. And now Mr. Uh, Fraser yes. is opening cases after the effect. Yes. Of the robbery itself. And two years later. And two years later. Yes. Now, uh, Mr. Ashwin has not come out to say when he became privy to the, the actual events of the robbery. Yeah. But over and above that, Mr. King, if a robbery takes place, <laughs> takes place anyway in yeah. the country, whether it's at the president's farm, mm -hmm. whether it's your, at your house, or the neighbor's house, or wherever a robbery might take place, a house robbery might take place, obviously there should be <laughs> something reported with the police, yes. suspects. And now the allegation Mr. Fred is saying is coming with he's saying that no suspects were arrested or or apprehended. Yes. Or at, at mm. the the, the farm by securities or farm hands or whoever <laughs> if yes. it's such a rest. Now but, but immediately uh, when that that that, that robbery took place, yes. um let's appreciate the fact that the robbery is not taking place. At just the commoner's house. Yes. This is the sitting president. Yes. The place of residence yes. that was infiltrated by criminals. Yes. And these people are not there to steal an amount that you can put in your pocket. In your pocket. Mr. Fraser is talking about yes. money is around the, the, the around what four over four million dollars. Dollars. 
Test yeah. test inside cupboards and you know room dividers and what have you. So <laughs> that's 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 something newsworthy. Mm. That's something to the public's interest yes. to know that uh, such and such a crime had occurred. Yes. Now, why are we finding out about it only two years yes. later? Mm-hmm. Let alone can tell you that probably there is something there. Yes. We must then look into that. We must look into that, right? And now here comes uh, the speaker of parliament. Uh, yeah. She affirmed that Drama was a has denied the allegations, made himself available to law enforcement. And now, if that's the case, Mr. King, if the president is saying, No, I'm availing myself to law enforcement to scrutiny to investigations, that's why. Right. Right. Now, yeah. you would think that during or as the investigation to this matter continues, yeah. um, the law enforcement has to go now and visit the Parapala Game Farm. Yes. To, as they lead the investigations, right? That's, that's correct. They need to go there, and uh, but I'm worried because of this is two years later. Exactly. You see? Yes. Uh, I'm sure the, 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 the crime scene itself yes. has already been tampered with, yeah. or whether directly or indirectly, yes. whether a person was tampering with the crime scene, mm-hmm. intentionally Intention tampering and... with the crime scene yes. or not. Yes. But two years later, two years later... Now, it said that the the person who informed the the criminals mm-hmm. was a, a was it the, the cleaner of the house or oh know? yes apparently mm-hmm. wow, wow. this case is so <laughs> so that will tell you that this case is something out of a novel <laughs> it is you know it has the making mm-hmm. of a Hollywood a Hollywood movie exactly because this person now notifies the friends or whoever mm. relatives to say there, there are large sums of money in that house in that house it means that it was money that was Practically lying around. Lying around yes. And if it was in a space where this person has to clean yes. on a normal basis, yes. it means that the crime scene now yes. no longer has the information or the evidence yes. that they the 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 So even if the, the investigating officers were to make the rounds at the Palapala King from owned by the president, I don't think they would find much. I don't think they would. Over and above that, they, they, they said to be even more auctions. Uh, of him that are continuing uh, to happen at, at the farm, uh, at the yeah. game farm. So, you know, yeah. there, 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 there's, there's a lot that the police would need in order exactly. to solidify their yes. case. You know? yes. uh, I'm talking about, you know, uh, body prints, yes. you know, uh, buccal samples, yes. uh, you know, crime scene samples, yes. DNA, of course. you know, uh, your forensic DNA yes. analysis. Now, 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 if about, uh, none of that has been. Has been, has been None yeah. of them has, has, has happened. happened two years later. Two years later. And mm-hmm. now, uh, let's say not two years later, Mr. King. Yes. The, the presidency confirms that yeah, there was a robbery in field. Now, were, were those things uh, ever investigated? Crime scene, the was, was there any crime scene analysis? What happened to the people who were alleged to have been there? But oh, oh, what about that? What happened to the initial police investigation or law enforcement investigation? Because they, at any robbery, there has to be some sort of investigation. The investigation that takes place. Yes. And if the crime itself was not reported to the police. Mm-hmm. Yet the the perpetrators were apprehended yes. by a state security or the security team. Yes. Then that should tell you that there's foul play somewhere. Of course there must be foul play somewhere. If someone goes into your your residence mm-hmm. and then when they come into your residence, yes. they steal or whatever. Yes. You happen to get those people. Yes. What is it that you do? Do you inter- do you inter- 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 interrogate them yourself? Yourself. <laughs> you see what, what what happens to them? Because after that, that? Yes. Because that would that would be again that would go against every law or in criminal in the criminal yes. procedure act. Yes. You know that would go against everything that we stand for as a country, as a constitution, as a law abiding uh, a civil uh, country. So. Well, it's unclear what happened exactly after the robbery was, was there, and that is two years ago, and nothing has been said ever. ever. So now it must give credence or it must give a backup to Arthur Fraser's uh, submissions. It, then it, it could, because it could. Arthur Fraser is saying yes. the robbery took place. Mm-hmm. The president is saying, yes, it the did, robbery it took did take place. Yeah, but so, I was out of the country. But I was out of the country. Now you come back to your country, and now you're told about a robbery. What happens yes. there? What happens there? A robbery in a sitting president's place, you know. Yeah. Those yeah. are the sort of things that we, we need to look into. Because I, I also think if the president, if there was no case that yes. was opened initially, now what happened to those people? What happened to those people? Because now, as it stands, Fraser alleges that uh, 
The housekeeper at the Parapara King Farm. Yeah. Uh, it is covered the stage of mine. Mm-hmm. And then she messaged uh, when uh, her identity is currently being uh, hidden. Okay. Uh, for her own protection, apparently. Mm-hmm. And then she messaged her brother who knew uh, some people in the underworld again. Right. Now, this is uh, other friends' submissions saying who knew again that could carry out the robot. The game then allegedly included four Namibian citizens and two South Africans who gained entry into the premises by cutting the wire perimeter and entering through a, a window of the main uh, farmhouse. Mm-hmm. The breaking in, in was captured on CCTV footage, according to Fraser, who attached a video of what looks like two men crawling into, uh, crawling to, according to Fraser, a window on their knees, right. and two others waiting by, by a door. The president said, who said in the statement that he was abroad at the time, came to have reported the incident to the presidential protection police unit. Mm-hmm. Now, if you are reporting the crime, as you should, right. you report it to the presidential protection unit. The, pre- the presidential protection unit does not investigate crime. It doesn't. It has a completely different mandate. Right. So the crime was supposed to be uh, reported to the SAPS. The South African Police Service, who mm-hmm. are authorized to investigate crime of this such nature. Right. Uh, of, of, of crime, of robbery, of right. housebreaking. The presidential presidential union has a mandate to protect the president. Yes, who was not in the country. Who was not in the country at the time, time of the, the, the breaking. Yes. Meaning that there was no direct threat to the life of the president. Oh, the president. At that point. Exactly. Yeah. Now, over and above the incentive, if the president, now the, uh, the, pre- the president says no, I reported this matter to the presidential protection unit. Now, what does the pre- pre- presidential protection unit, uh, unit do about this information? What, 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 what must <laughs> that unit do <laughs> with that information? You understand? So right. it's a very tricky one, but uh, we'll have to see how it pans out. Yeah. Uh, my only concern is that will the police, South African police service, actually uh, interrogate and scrutinize and investigate this case? I think at this point in time, uh, Mr. Yes. Uh, the South African police services mm-hmm. have no choice but to follow up on any leads, follow up on evidence mm-hmm. that was brought forth by them, uh, to them by uh, Mr. Fraser. Mm-hmm. So, so the Criminal Procedure Act, yes. uh, 51 of 1977, yes. does give you know uh, certain rights to police mm-hmm. for for them uh, to you know carry carry on their business their business the investigations uh, yeah they're authorized by law they're authorized by, mm-hmm. by the constitution by, yes more especially that the complaint has mm-hmm. also come yes. into their into their uh, yeah into, into, into the scope of work i mean yeah the the, the, the police the steps uh, we have to uh, interrogate the case thoroughly and if, if not for anything but just for public for public, for the public sake, yeah. uh, and for public, in of public interest, right. uh, the president has said that he's not stepping down, uh, and we must allow due process to, to be followed. Yeah. And um, so due, due process must be followed. Due process without any fear or favor yes. against the president. And the president has said that he's prepared to also uh, comply with whatever it is that the law enforcement would want yes. from him. Right? From him, he's got nothing to hide. Yes. That's what he said. But in the, in the very same vein, that, that's why I say that the president himself is also disingenuous, Mr. Kiro, mm-hmm. especially when he is now making public commentary on this matter. Right. Uh, there are things that he likes to touch on or that he is comfortable touching on regarding this issue of, of the, the, the farm, farm gate. Yeah. Um, and some issues he says, no, let us, uh, I'm not going to entertain those sort of question, questions or I'm not going to comment on that yeah. uh, based on uh, ongoing investigation. So can you see that he only touches on what he wants to touch on, but the, the difficult questions he doesn't want to... Uh, that, that just shows you the, um, a disingenuous sort of uh, yes. uh, uh, approach or, or from the president. Also, but uh, Mr. Macau, you are a lawman yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, you know never to say or even text something yes. that can be used against you in yes. a court of law. Yes. Right. There are things that are of public knowledge, mm-hmm. and there are things that the president can say. Yes. And those things might never be used against him, against him. in the court of law. Should if uh, this case was to actually mm-hmm. see if they in court. Yes. Right. Yes. And I think he's treading very carefully. Mm-hmm. He knows that. And as things stand, mm-hmm. uh, let's appreciate the fact that the robbery did take place. It did take place, right? Yes. And what happened after that? Yes. That's what we don't know. Mister Mister Fraser has his own side 
and he's telling his own story to say, yes. this is what happened. Yes. And if it did happen the way Mr. Fraser says it happened, mm -hmm. then it means there was a crime. There was a crime. Within that crime, if there's something like that. Of course. You see, yes, course. that then needs to be followed up, which would then put the president in a very compromised position. Or oh, in a very tricky situation. Right. Yes. Now, yes. Mr. 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 Tiro, if you are saying that, then he's treating very carefully. Yeah. What are you treating carefully for? When you have nothing to hide and you have said that I because Mr. President Mr. Ramaphosa came out, uh, President Ramaphosa came out and said, No, I've not, never stolen any money from anyone. Yes. I've never taken any money that, that wasn't mine. Right. So if you're taking carefully, you're taking carefully for, 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 for what reason? Or for what? Because you've done nothing wrong. This speaks to what you just said. Yes. There are things that he's happy to talk about. Yes. Right. And the fact that he didn't steal any money. Yes. That's not exactly what Mr. Fraser is saying. Mr. Fraser is not saying that you, you stole money. money. He's just saying you, you concealed uh, the, 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 the crime. The crime. Right. The crime. And also on top of that, we kidnapped people because people there were, 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 were apprehended. Yes. And then they were let go. Right. But immediately when you, when you take someone, yes. keep them against their will. Yes. Then you are now we are now having a conversation around abduction yes. at that point in time. And if even if the president was not the one doing the actual abduction or kidnapping or detaining of uh, someone unlawfully, yes. he was still privy to, 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 to those events happening. So he yes. knew that some people were, were apprehended. Exactly. The, yes. the, the events happened at he at the, at, the, at the farm that was owned by him. By him. And the, the perpetrators were there to steal money that belongs to him. him. They were there to rob him. him. You understand? Yes. So he is concerned with whatever it is that had happened. Yes. Now, if you find out as a sitting president that there was a robbery that took yes. place at your, uh, at, your, at your place, yes. uh, at your farm, and people were about to steal yes. some, some high amount of money that yes. belongs to you, yes. I should think you should also be concerned to say, okay, what happened to these people? What happened to these people? Where is the case? Where is the case? Uh, you know, things along those lines. Along those lines. But uh, we, have to, we have to watch it very close and see what happens, especially with the police investigation, Mr. Kiro. You have to watch it very close to that one. Yeah, I think, I think with the police investigation, yeah. you know, if the police, which... Uh, they must yes. act on the information that they have received. Yes. Really follow up on every on lead, everything, on you know, every interview uh, people yes. that are concerned with that. Yes. There is a lot more that is going to come out of this case. Yeah, and it's already this case is already causing my, my, much, much, much problem, many problems. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it, it, you know, there's tons waiting. There's yeah. opposition that is coming yes. on guns places. Chaos in parliament is erupting. Chaos in parliament, yeah. you know. Um, mm all around this issue. this issue so we need you we need this issue to to know, be properly ventilated and yeah. to be properly and finalized swiftly exactly yes you see but the police themselves they do have the power this would be a, according to the criminal procedure act, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh, section 22 says circumstances in which mm -hmm. uh, article may may be seized without a search warrant mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, police officials may, without a search warrant, search any person mm -hmm. or container mm -hmm. or premises yes. for the purpose of seizing any article referred to in Section Twenty. Yes. Right. Section Twenty speaks to mm -hmm. uh, the, the, which the state may seize certain articles. Of course. Right. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we, in that instance, I should think that we would need any, every and every every particular to just corroborate. Uh, Mr. Fraser's submission. We need every particular of every sale that or auction that was conducted yes. uh, in those years or in the year 2020. Yes. Uh, and even before that, might need just to see records. We need to see records. I mean, 20, uh, uh, four, four million rands. Yes. In four cash. Million dollars. In cash. <laughs> that's, not, that's not money that uh, would not have a trace. So we would never have a trace. That money should yes. have a trace to see. Where this money comes from. This is this is what the EFM is basing their allegations on. Yeah. Um, they say no, Mr. President, uh, you are dealing in, in money laundering, international money laundering. Yeah. If, just like you said at the beginning at the beginning of the show, Mr. TV, he said no, this money is coming from overseas. Yes. You don't print American dollars in South Africa. You don't. Yeah. And if, even if even if we did have someone did have uh, that, that, that amount in, in dollars in South Africa, it would have to be declared. Yes. How, how does four million dollars just come? In case I can I can tell you for a fact that there are people living in South Africa and they have not seen uh, American currency. American currency is 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 that's how rare it is, it is in this country. In this country, we've got our own currency. Yes. Yes. Now, if you have four million dollars, 
Why do you have four million dollars? How did that money make its way yes. into the country? Yes. Was that declared? Yes. And if you're going to declare money, remember you 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 cannot be trading yes. in South Africa using a foreign currency. Yes. You should use when you come with money yes. from another country. Yes. As soon as you land, yes. you're supposed to change that money, that money into, 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 into local yes. currency. Yes. Right. Yes. So so that you are able to then trade in this country yes. using yes. South African currency. Of course. Now if you are trading in South Africa using the foreign, foreign currency, currency yes. to the range or the values of around four million, yes. then we have we have something to talk there, about. There's something to talk about here. There's something there's been something to talk about you, Mr. King. But we have to see uh, how it develops. Uh, going forward, we we'll, we'll keep our ear on the ground and we'll, we'll see how the country develops. Yeah, yeah, you know. and uh, yeah, that is the story. I'm also keen. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm following it. I'm following it closely, and I know our producers here at the Legal SA. Mm -hmm. They are also following it very closely. Mm -hmm. yes. That is why we even decided to give it an exclusive today. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I should think that's all for me today. Do mm -hmm. we have any job ops for our? Oh yes, yes. Uh, we do have a, a, a couple of drop ops. Um, yeah, we do have drop ops. Uh, so guys, these are the drop ops for for, for the week, guys. Uh, for all you low uh, practitioners, um, Gold One International is looking to hire legal uh, legal advisor rather on a permanent basis. That position is being uh, placed in Bernstein to uh, Johannesburg. So the link um, to apply for that job is in the description below. So check it out below, guys, uh, to make that application. For that job, if that is a uh, global international. In our second job, we have the Social Economic Rights Institute of South Africa is looking to take on a uh, take on candidate attorneys. Um, they haven't put up the number of how many candidate attorneys they're looking to take on, mm -hmm. um, but they're looking for candidate attorneys there. So the link to, to apply for that one is also in the description below. So you can just check it out with you guys and make those applications for that one. That is the Social Economic Rights Institute of South Africa. And in our third job op, we have Experian, which is a company based out of Santin in, in Johannesburg. Um, they are looking to take on a general legal a practitioner holding a bachelor of law degree uh, who is admitted as an attorney. Mm -hmm. um, so that link to apply for that one is in the description below as well. So just go there and check it out guys and apply um, on the website. The last one we have is Absolute Career Personnel in Randberg, Johannesburg is looking um, to take on a conveyancer who has been recently admitted to deal exclusively with um, transfers. So check it out guys, the link for that one um, is in the description below. So yeah, just uh, check out the, dis the description below guys and make your applications for all those jobs. Mr. Kiro, yes sir. Is there anything else for today? I should think that's it. No, we are, um, I see. Thank you very much for joining us guys. Uh, please join us again on The Legal Essay. And also uh, please for, uh, subscribe to the channel to get all our latest updates. Thank you. Thank you.